Okay, time for a new project. I was watching one of my Fib boys' latest videos and he was making a wheel set for a small 16mm locomotive that he's building. But during the course of the video, he used a tapping guide that he'd made to tap some holes. And I thought this was a really, really good idea. So I made a comment that I thought it was a very cool tool. And he provided me with a link to a, a, a much earlier video that he'd done on the tapping guide that he made. <clears throat> now his tapping guide utilized the arm on his drill press that holds the drill press table. He basically unclamps the drill press table and puts the tapping guide in the arm. Now my drill press, the table attaches in a completely different manner and it's not suitable for doing what he does. But I still like the idea and I thought, well, there's got to be a way we can do this. So I had a look around and I had a think and what I came up with was this cheap and nasty Chinese uh, drill press stand, which I got from eBay. I'll give you a closer look at this. Now I've taken a load of parts off this because it obviously it would have had a handle and I've locked the two parts together um, so that it, this is this is a solid lump now and you can adjust the height by just undoing this cap head allen screw and it'll slide up and down. But this is the bit I was interested in. This is the bit that will hold the tapping guide. Yeah, all right, it's a pretty nasty drill stand. It doesn't weigh anything, you know, but I can, I can make the base heavier should I need to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the design slightly of my for Boyd's tapping guide because he was using a standard, what looked like a standard 13 mil Jacobs drill chuck to hold the taps, which is great and, and would do the job superbly. But what I really want my tapping guide for is fairly small taps. So we're talking about 8642 BA and possibly 3456 mil. Now it's only occurred to me that an ER16 collet chuck, which I have here, would work fine for those sizes. I already have a set of ER16 collets which I use on the Sherline mill, so that's no problem. I don't need to buy those. So my basic idea is to make the same thing that my food boy made. Basically you have a huge chunk of round uh, bar stock. You make that so that it fits in there. You can clamp it in there. You drill and ream a hole through the middle for your bar that you're gonna use uh, to put your, to fit on the, fit your chuck on. So that goes on there like that. And then that goes up through the steel uh, block. Uh, and then put a, simply, he simply put a T-bar handle on the top for, for, to allow it to turn, so you could turn it. Um, I'm probably going to, let's come back out again. Let me see it, hold up, there we go. I'm probably gonna make a little brass thumb wheel handle for the top, because obviously with very small taps like 8BA, you don't need a lot of torque. You really only, you can do it with your fingers. So I'll probably make a brass knurled handle for the very top of the rod. Um, and it will also have the ability to have a, t a Tommy bar put through it. But, but that's, the, that's the premise of the whole thing. So first thing to do is machine this down. All it be, basically needs to be done is turn down to the same diameter as that clamp, uh, hole built bore through the middle and reamed and uh, probably not put a nice chamfer on, on the top edge, I expect. Okay, well, I spent most of yesterday making this. That's our <coughs> tapping guide block. Now, my little Walk OW180 lathe is perfectly capable of turning down steel like this. The trouble is it does take rather a long time. I had to take something like 400 thou off of the diameter of this thing. Plus, of course, I had to drill and bore out the center. Then I had to make the... Uh, chamfer on the top and you can only take small cuts when you're turning steel on my lathe plus of course it's only running at about 500 rpm so it does take a while but we got there in the end so that will fit in there quite nicely there we go obviously that clamp will do that up and the idea is that let's just thread this through there That's, that is your, your tapping guide there and the tap goes in the ER16 collet. Now I've got to shorten this rod and I've got to make a brass uh, thumb wheel for the top and to drill it for a uh, Tommy bar. So that's the next thing to do. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some nice little uh, extended T-bar type screws so it's easy to do the clamp. So I don't need a, an Allen wrench to do the, this clamping screw up or the clamping screw for the height it just makes it a lot easier to adjust it when you're in situ but i think you can you see the the whole idea of the, the thing um just gonna close in a bit on that 
probably going to make it something like where's, where's the line mark? yes i'm going to probably cut it off there where that line is so it'll be about that length so that gives me plenty of, i'm far more than i i actually need bearing in mind the threaded uh thumb wheel will come down here and reduce the length a bit a bit further but um yeah we're getting there so the tapping guide is finished I've got a 6BA tap in there at the moment because this is the most common size sort of hole that I tap generally for model steam engines anyway. And it's turned out really well. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna try that in a minute. And we're gonna use the recently restored Goodall Pratt drill press to drill some test holes in a, probably a bit of brass to do some, uh, to do some tapping. But yeah, it's, uh, it's turned out okay. So the extra bits I made were these uh, locking pins put up with a simple Tommy bar and it just saves me having to search around for an Allen wrench to when I want to lock this up and move this and these work quite well they're just this just turned down bits of steel bar threaded to make the to make the locking pins and Tommy bars put in that's the um, little brass thumb wheel this Tommy bar is removable I can take that out so if I've got very small threads to tap like that 6BA one that I'm, I'm about to do, I can just use the thumb wheel and when I want to, I can pop the Tommy bar back in, give me a bit of extra leverage on those larger taps. Okay, here's the recently restored little Goodall Pratt drill press. Got a cover over the power supply now. Still allows plenty of air to get in, but it'll keep all the swarf out. And a little, little chart on the, on the board here tells me what speed we're running at. So um, let's drill a hole. So here's our test piece, a little bit of scrap brass. And there we go. One nice hole. Right, let's get tapping. So <clears throat> I've set all this up so that the tap goes quite a way through the hole in the base plate here. So we'll put our test piece in place. Line it up, there we go. And start tapping. And I mean, this really is, well, I don't really need the Tommy bar. Let's take the Tommy bar out. I'm just going to do this by, by hand. You don't, you know, this is, this is brass. You've got real good feedback. You can tell the taps binding up uh, real easy. God, I wish I'd made one of these years ago. Look at that. You've got a dead straight tapped hole. Absolute doddle. So perfect. You know, that really is just brilliant. It's just so easy. You, there's no effort, there's no chance you're gonna break the tap because as soon as the tap binds, you can feel it through here. So yeah, I have to say that it's a pretty brilliant idea and I'm so, so glad my third boy made one of these because otherwise I most likely would have never come across this. Anyway, there you go. Very easy to make, very quick to make. This crappy, drill bench drill stand thing that was 16 pounds i think i've said that already i uh, got that off of ebay dead cheap uh, i can't remember how much i paid for the collet chuck this er16 collet chuck but it wasn't a lot these are not expensive at all um, and so yeah you can make this for a relatively small amount of money um, anyway that's about it for the er16 collet chuck as i said once again many thanks to my food boy for the inspiration for this and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video on the build. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.